And as I said, our team of reporters fanned out across the length and breadth of the country. But the two key phases this time, uh, two key states, in fact, uh, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh. And Tanish Punjabi is joining us, looking very spirited this morning. And also Radhika Rabaswamy is with us uh, from Mumbai as well. Tanish, going across to you first. Well, uh, the biggest uh, uh, seat, perhaps, in terms of uh, you know high-profile seats is Amethi. It's a key contest there. Smriti Rani will also be casting a vote there in. Amethi, she has a new home uh, in her constituency. What's the mood? Uh, you know, do you already see long queues? Well, of course, yes. Uh, I'm right now at the booth where Smriti Rani will herself come and vote after, you know, she built a new home here in Gauri Ganj. So this is Gauri Ganj, one of the constituencies in, in Amethi, one of the Vidhan Sabha constituencies in, in Amethi Lok Sabha. But you can, of course, see the voters have already queued up. The voting has just begun. We will, of course, try to speak with them in uh, in some time. Uh, these, these are the voters you can see lined up in front of you. Uh, but yes, a very interesting battle here in Amethi because it is KL Sharma, a Gandhi family loyal, loyalist, not a Gandhi, uh, Gandhi family member itself uh, fighting against Smriti Irani. For the first time in the last 20 years, it is uh, a non-Gandhi who is fighting uh, from Amethi. So very interesting to see because, you know, uh, on one hand, Smriti Irani had been campaigning here. She had been meeting people for the past one and a half months, reach, reaching out to people. Uh, uh, reaching out to people, holding small uh, public uh, public gatherings at different villages, and at the same point of time, you know, after the candidature was announced, Priyanka Gandhi from sixth, uh, she she was uh, she was constantly she was constantly meeting people, uh, holding small nukar sabhas. So of course, heavy campaigning by the by both big guns, and you know, the battle of Raiburili and Amethi, as we you know we were talking yesterday, it has become a prestige battle between the BJP and the Congress. For the Congress, of course to reclaim the lost bastion that they lost in 2019 uh, and Rai Bareilly, the only seat that they managed to win uh, from Uttar Pradesh in 2019. But for the BJP, Amit Shah himself, he came and said that if we uh, win Amethi and Rai Bareilly, if the lotus blooms on, in Amethi and Rai Bareilly, then automatically it is considered Char Sopar. So, of course, a prestige battle between, uh, uh, between the BJP and the Congress and the most high-profile seats in Uttar Pradesh, Amethi and Rai Bareilly, yes. Absolutely. And in 2019, you know, the Congress won only Rai Vareli, perhaps its lone bastion now in Uttar Pradesh. And after the Gandhis deserted Amethi, perhaps uh, the Congress confined to uh, Rai Vareli there. Thanks, Tanish, for that. Nazir Masoodi also with us. But going across to you first, Radhika, uh, you know, all eyes on Maharashtra, on Mumbai, where you are. Uh, as we were discussing earlier, the who's who of Bollywood, the corporate world casting their votes today. Uh, you know, also very interesting battle playing out between the Thakres and the Shindes uh, there in Mumbai as well. Certainly, very interesting battle playing out in Maharashtra. Sena versus Sena in three seats in Mumbai. BJP versus Congress in two seats. And if you take Mumbai metropolitan region as well, there is Sena versus Sena battle happening. So, 13 seats going to polls today, of which six seats from Maximum City going to polls. And these are very, very significant seats with uh, Piyush Goel, uh, who is contesting from Mumbai North. Uh, Piyush Goel, in fact, will be casting his vote where I am standing. This is uh, a polling booth in Mumbai. Malabar Hill, where he will be casting his vote in just a few minutes. Of course, Mumbaikers not uh, really early birds, so we aren't seeing any cues at this point. Uh, just about uh, four to five people who've just gone in. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we'll have to wait for a couple of hours more to uh, see queued up people. But at this point, as you mentioned clearly, this is a fight between MVA and Mahayuti. Uh, this uh, is significant because we've seen change in political landscape over the last couple of years and that will determine, uh, you know, who, which, uh, is it Thakre or the Shinde that rules the hearts and minds of uh, people of Mumbai because this is the epicenter of where the splits happen, be it the Sena split or the NCP split, post which of course there had been government collapses, government reformation, new alliances being formed, friends turning foes, foes turning friends, all of that uh, was witnessed over the last few years, which is why this election is significant, because it is very difficult to read the minds of voters. Uh, you know, it has left the voters confused. Uh, but yes, 
a hotly contested seat mumbai north mumbai south where of course incumbent mp arvind savant will be contesting once again looking for a hat trick mumbai north central is also significant with uh, ujwal nikam celebrated lawyer contesting against varsha gaekwad of the congress who's a seasoned politician ujwal nikam of course contesting from uh, uh, bjp uh, so that is going to be a significant battle as well and of course uh, as far as kalyan and thane which are the uh, you know regions within mumbai metro Bolton region is concerned uh, it is eknath shinde's bastion so a lot of internal feuds happening within mahayuti in these two constituencies finally uh, you know within mahayuti uh, you know eknath shinde sena contesting from there shrikant shinde Shin shinde's uh, eknath shinde son contesting from uh, uh, kalyan and also his aide contesting from thane as well uh, this is uh, uh, you know shinde turf so we'll have to see how sena versus sena will play out in kalyan and thane as well but as far as mumbai is concerned yes um, maximum city financial capital going to polls who's who from politics who's who from uh, the glamour industry from the film industry uh, from the corporate circle will be voting perhaps in large numbers there had been a number of awareness campaigns and drives right. uh, over the last few uh, weeks and uh, and days we did see uh, you know celebrities uh, including shahrukh khan salman khan tweeting and uh, appealing to voters to come out in large numbers but morning uh, the scene is not really encouraging here in this polling booth perhaps yes. in the next few hours it will pick up pace and urban apathy certainly a key issue there and uh, you know voter turnout in maharashtra has been uh, pretty low significantly low in fact across phases i'll come back to you radhika on that but nazir masoodi going across to you uh, jammu and kashmir also voting across phases baramulla is a key constituency omar abdullah uh, in the electoral battle but ladakh as well because you see ladakh has become a quite a, a, a sort of a hot uh, hotly contested battle with the protests uh, that we saw in the run up to the polls the protest for six schedule and of course uh, you know the, the identity and the protection of tribal population certainly an important issue both in jammu and kashmir and ladakh in fact yeah exactly and the first thing these lines behind me would tell the story what would be the turnout today the participation in this election while the baramulla constituency has been traditionally remain high turnout uh you know constituency but this time it appears given the fact because i saw here in this polling booth half an hour before polling started these people came and waited for their turn so right now early in the morning people came out and waiting for their turn long queues in every polling station in this area the today voters will decide the fate of former chief minister umar abdullah and there are three key contests in attempts in this constituency umar abdullah sajjad lone and jail leader engineer rashid who actually who uh, is in tihar jail for last five years facing terror funding charges and nia has charged sheeted him as well so he is also a contestant and he has created wave of sorts in this election it led an effective campaign but clearly uh, this is an camp a campaign we saw intense campaign by all the players though there are 22 candidates in the fray but these three candidates led a very very effective campaign this is first important election a major election post abrogation of article 370 this also first election after all the parliament and the assembly constituencies were redrawn in 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 delimitation process so this election will determine even beyond the poll results and okay. will determine which way politics go in jammu and kashmir so that is very important thing in we saw in last phase srinagar recorded highest voter turnout in in last almost three decades so that and even prime minister was impressed and he tweeted home minister everybody they are saying look how things have change in on the ground and going to now to the ladakh constituency this is also a very important constituency this constituency has been held by bjp right. but this time elections are actually riding on protests on state for statehood and the sixth schedule which bjp has denied to the people of ladakh they said we can't yes. give them so for months on they were protesting so now the elections are held bjp has changed their uh, existing ma their uh, mi this mp okay. 